Welcome to MFAA On Air. Your body language and the way you speak are powerful tools. And when used in the right way, they can strengthen the relationship and influence you have with clients. MFAA On Air spoke to Louise Mailer, a communications specialist, about the tactics you can employ with your clients. Anyone who's in a service industry and is dealing with people who are they're needing to build trust with, then absolutely needs face-to-face. -face. I mean, obviously, you have your knowledge behind you about your product. Having got that now that you're in the business, it's all about your face-to-face -face skills. voice it's a matter of bring your own voice to the engagement so we love authenticity in Australia so even though we know the voice of leadership is low slow and loud you can't fake it to make it you have to have it where your voice sits now what that means is your airflow needs to be coming out clearly so your diaphragm needs to be unjammed your throat needs to be open your mouth needs to be open and your tongue needs to be working and your air is flowing Yes, well, I'd be listening for certain things. I'd be making sure, in terms of what I hear, I'd be making sure that the air continued to flow in sentences. So very aware if the air breaks in the middle of sentences. If that's happening, that has to stop because we trust people whose air continues to flow. Well, you want the body up straight. It sends messages of power, but it also gives you power and freedom. Um, your mouth is open, shows openness, and you're using your hands with palms out. That's really important for trust. Then I think with body language, the critical thing are the hands, and the hands are congruent. You know, the worst mistakes we make with hands is the hands don't move, or the hands move incongruently or repetitively. So if you're going to be clear with gestures, you need to know that when people think visually they look up, so you paint pictures in the sky, you get their feedback into their ears and when there's emotion, you're down here. So you're looking at a couple of concepts, checking with them that they're happy and, and, and that they're happy. This is congruent gesturing. It's gesturing that people understand. Never repeat gestures more than twice. They become meaningless and, uh, and make them congruent. So how can you tell if it's all going wrong and you're not getting the right impression across? Uh, basically, they'll be out of rapport with you in their body language. So for instance, if you're like this, they'll be sitting back and like that. You know, they'll be very different in their body shape, in their breathing pattern, in their eye pattern, in their vocal range. Things will be different and out of sync if it's not working. You know, in the research, they separate voice and body as, the, as though they're two different parts, two different studies, but they're actually the same thing. You know, voice works if body works. So for instance, if your body's lined up, your voice will come out. You can't consider them separately. And the gestures that we do for congruent gesturing actually guide the air of voice. You need gestures, not just to communicate with people, but so that you can guide the air. So how can you unlearn behaviors? Recognize that they are habitual. They're just habitual, you need to change the habit. Try in your social environment to try the new skills and the new gestures. If you've never put your hands up like that, just try it. So you build that trust to try new behaviors, try new voices, and then they'll be there and ready for you in real situations when you need it. The MFAA is invested in helping its members to grow their business and be the best brokers they can be. For more practical advice and information on professional development opportunities, visit our website. You've been watching MFAA on air.